Uh, my name is Wilfred Saka. I'm the district chairman of Terego. Terego is have been working in the refugee settlement before I became a politician and therefore a district leader. We host about 31 nationalities in Uganda as asylum seekers. We are hosting a total of about 1.6 million refugees and this certainly is a challenge. It poses a lot of gaps in service delivery. A number of challenges have arisen due to the status we have being a refugee hosting country. Which are these challenges? One, the pressure on social services. Social service infrastructure is inadequate to sustain the numbers of refugees that we are hosting. We are hosting 1.6 million refugees and uh, this for a poor country like Uganda is extremely huge. The efficiency, for instance, in schools you now have the efficiency ratios which are extremely ugly. Then uh, one teacher on average is teaching 120 learners. This is certainly not good for serious learning to take place. Classroom people ratio is extremely high. Textbook people ratio is also extremely high. This for sure affects quality of learning. Two, our second challenge is in terms of uh, environment. The mandate of feed in refugees is uh, that of uh, WFP, World Food Programme. Of late, the ratios have been cut by about 40%. And what does it, this mean? It means the refugees must do an extra work to make sure the ratios that have been cut are topped up in their own sense and rights. What are they doing? They have solely looked at the environment as a top-up source of income. And uh, indeed, the situation is not good. Cutting trees for charcoal, cutting trees for the logs, it has really negatively impacted on the environment. What is the cumulative effect? The cumulative effect is the confusion we have seen in the farmers, especially this year. Our rains used to come around February and the immediate rains come, you will find farmers planting uh, groundnuts, planting maize, planting other crops. But rains this year first came in April. Farmers are now very confused in terms of what they should plan. Overall, the environmental degradation that has been caused in the settlements is extremely a huge burden to restore. And as a country, and also as, a, as a leaders, we find this extremely hard on our part to restore the environment. Who is going to address this problem?